Uh, we've been obviously following and talking about the Michigan investigation and the one of the lead reporters in, on the Yahoo side has been at the forefront of this reporting is Dan Wetzel of Yahoo Sports, former co-host with Gator back in the day. That's right. Dan got top billing. Is that right? It's Wetzel and Gator. Nice. Wetzel and Gator. Yeah. Legendary Detroit yeah. radio. <laughs> <laughs> Cold classic, cold classic. Yeah, absolutely. Was it? A, was it a two-hour show? You damn right, two it was hours. a two-hour show. <laughs> they only gave us two hours. Yeah. <laughs> we're proved to be two hours too many. <laughs> it's like one to three, I think, was the time slot. Real ones, no. Real ones, no. Yeah, that's right. There we go. <laughs> that's right, Kang. Thank you. Uh, all right, so Dan, this story—you've been covering it. You've been reporting on it uh, with yesterday's information. Um, what, what is your takeaway? Uh, O'Connor Stallion's not as uh, sneaky as he thought. Is what I, uh, <laughs> I, I, you know, this is pretty much what we we reported last week was it would be, um, you know, a staffer sending his friends or family or you know unnamed individuals, parts unknown, we don't know, to games to scout them and film and take pictures or whatever. Didn't think he would uh, use his own name on the tickets. <laughs> Um, I don't know if he used like whatever the official ticket partner of Michigan football, like, you know, code word, big house, get 20% off or something. <laughs> I don't, this guy, um, <laughs> not hard to crack this case. So, um, the details obviously are, are interesting. They're not, you know, really any different than what we've suspected the story would be. And, um, obviously it's, it's, it's against the spirit of the rule. Whether it's against the letter of the rule, will be a, a fight. I don't. I don't. I don't really know what the NCAA will do with this, or the Big Ten. Do they act before? I mean, these things take a long time. Um, but it's obviously a, a pretty sloppy, uh, sloppy job by uh, by by Connor. So, so how big is the scope of this whole thing? I mean, it's you got a lot of people saying this is it, it, this means nothing. Everybody tries to steal signs, but at the same time. There's a rule in place that says you can't travel to pre-scout and, and perhaps do it like they were doing it, and it's been in place for a long time here. Yeah, I mean, look, it's the what what they were trying, what he was trying to accomplish is obviously against the rule or what what anybody would have determined the rule is. The problem with the NCA is their rules are poorly written. They're very confusing. There's lots of little loopholes. So I'll give you the example of North Carolina basketball, right? I think everyone's heard this case. 20 years, there was these no-show, no paper, just no-show classes. And the basketball, football players would take it, various kids. And you go, okay, that's got to be against the rules, right? Well, it is, except because regular students could also take the class, and some did, it was deemed not an athletic benefit. It wasn't against NCA rules. It was just North Carolina having some ridiculous classes that didn't, that any kid could take. So they beat the case. So some of the stuff's like you get into these nuances of like, well, is it against the rule for a staffer? It's, it's against the rule for Michigan to send somebody or any school to send somebody to advance scout. Is it, a, is it technically against the rule to send someone buddy to sit in the stands and film it like anybody can go film any game this weekend and put it up on youtube and and everybody could watch the stuff and fans sometimes do that you know so it's like well what's what's the particular rule but in terms of like the spirit of the rule absolutely like this is not there's not a lot of gray area you well, can't be having your friends go do this or else but everyone same, would be doing it at the same time i mean you're not putting somebody in the stands to, to film the game you're putting somebody in the stands to film no, the yeah, signs. I mean, there's a big difference. Film the signs. Yeah. But anybody could film the signs, too, and just put them up on YouTube, right? Like, so it's just such a weird thing. Um, no, they're trying to gain the advantage of I get advanced scouting on your signs, and then I can steal your signs if you're going to use them. So, you know, it's, it's a pretty p- clear-cut case. I think that the things that make it bigger, obviously, the, look, the reputational damage is the, is the biggest penalty you'll get. Michigan will always have this. Harbaugh will always have this. Other fans will be able to bark at you and all that. That's college football. Um, but what, you know, it, is it extends is how many people in the Michigan football department knew about this? 
Uh, was it nobody? Was this just a, a rogue assistant trying to bolster himself and he's cheating at work to make himself look good? Were there other assistants that knew he was up to something or saw it and didn't say anything? Does it go to the coordinator level? Does it go to Harbaugh level? Does it go beyond that? Who was funding it? Things like that. How big is it? Or is it just a guy at work and everyone's got work and everyone's got some guy cutting corners to try to get ahead, even internally and keeping it secret? Is it that? I I suppose that will matter. But, uh, you know, it's not like there's a silver bullet out there for Michigan fan. It's just like this didn't happen. That's not going to come through. If they determine that he is a lone wolf. And as I've talked to Michigan fans about this, you know, there's that, that might be the best case scenario as far as damage control. Sure. But if it's shown that he is a lone wolf, is there any, uh, pre pe- any past cases that can kind of determine what the penalty might be? Uh, not really. Uh, one thing is they've changed the liability rules for head coaches. You're supposed to know what's going on in your department now. Um, there are exceptions. You don't have to know. They, they, sort of, they, they use a term called like gold standard compliance. So you could be literally compliance, compliance, compliance. And if somebody does something that you're not, like, how would you reasonably know? Um, it's a lot easier in basketball than football because the, sta- the football staffs are so big. Um, there could be 50, 70 people under, you know, a, a, a football office is over 100 people, I think. But you would probably know. Um, being around it's a so lot much. of people but when you <laughs> when you get into all the assistants and secretary you know all the administrative assistants there's a lot of people working and like football coaches are <laughs> like there's a reason operations that big have hr department like the, jim harbaugh doesn't seem like a guy who's like the boss he's the boss but not like that kind of boss so there's all these people in the office so you know what's that I, I wouldn't really worry necessarily about what the NCA penalty is at this point. He, he, most NCA penalties are kind of obsolete at this point. They're, they're about uh, limiting scholarship numbers or recruiting visits, things that no longer matter in the NIL world. And Michigan can certainly bulldoze right through all those by, by putting out enough money that, you know, I can't afford to pay you. I can't afford to pay your way for you and your mom to come visit our campus this weekend. But uh, if you show up and sign a football for this guy who owns a car dealership, uh, he'll give you more than enough to come visit our school, right? Yeah. So you can get around a lot of the penalties. The biggest thing would be like a postseason ban. I don't I mean. But how much it, does it get compounded at all because of the the current investigation that, that you know, has himself imposed three-game suspension already? I mean, it seems yeah. like he's poked the oh, bear quite throw a bit. It on there. If they can throw it on. Um, it would be naive to think they would not throw this on there and say, look, it's, it's another compliance issue and all of that. I just, I wouldn't, NCA penalties, the NCA penalty here is the reputational damage and does it chase Jim Harbaugh to the Bears or the Chargers or something like that. I mean, I think those are the biggest issues here. Um, you're, you're just not going to live this down uh, as, as a thing. There's not, there's not an escape hatch here. Yeah. Now, maybe the escape hatch is, look, this guy did, you know, it's, 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 it's one, one guy was doing this. How are you supposed to know? And that's, that's probably the best case. My guess is he was doing it. Put it this way. If more than one person was involved in this or anyone of any kind of level and said, hey, here's our plot, put the tickets in your own name. <laughs> Like, it's, like the clumsiness of it yeah. suggests that it was not well thought out or anybody with any kind of like that. That's not this is like I've I've yeah. I've kind of swung more to yeah he's probably just this guy really being dumb. Hey, why don't you buy the tickets on your own computer? Use a like you know no you would send cash to a guy to buy a ticket to the the guy that's standing by the interstate that's got two tickets right. You yeah. I mean if you are really doing this. So my, it's probably is that is I guess best case for Michigan fan, but I don't know that it's it's not like well we didn't do anything. It's no. like well he still did something. I know he's quote low level staffer, and I get it. It's it's an astounding story that like the Harbaugh the Harbaugh Empire at Michigan could be damaged or or or, or even end because of one guy. But that's the nature of this. 
uh, of college athletics. They have a lot of dumb rules. They should have solved all these things before. They should have headsets. They should have – there's a million things they should do. But there's still a rule here, and the rule is very obvious. You're not supposed to go do this. Whether everyone is, you're still not supposed to do it. If you get caught, you get caught. The NCAA is like a small-town cop with a with – a, speed trap to get tourists driving through right they don't they can't they can't figure out who robbed the bank but if they get you going 65 and, a, and they and they say it's 25 they're going to drill you and i think that's where michigan is right now uh you know that's what they got to worry about dan appreciate your time thanks for the insight we'll talk again soon see you guys all right, all right see you, Mike. from yahoo sports